Good day everyone and welcome. Before we start, we have a disclosure. Please be aware of risk in the future trading. We strongly recommend to stay on a sim as long as needed before you start taking a live trades. This is a very high risk in the trading, whether you are trading future Forex or any other kind of trading, there is always risk and it's much better to be educated before you start trading even if you are an auto trader this is not a coffee machine you turn on in the morning or a wash machine you just to turn it on so we strongly recommend to stay a little bit educated before you start using the real money today i want to show something else today uh, we've been screaming for the last week on a webinar on the youtube on both of the channels youtube and uh in the webinar uh, that uh, the closer we are to the Christmas uh, the the more we're gonna see some flat movement in the market and I want to show you why it does matter between uh, auto trade and an auto trade uh, uh, when when an auto trade can perform on a very low uh, time frame uh, if this auto trade is accurate can survive uh, the, the the smaller time frame much better than the bigger time frame especially this time of year so here is front of me is a 30-year Treasury bond three minutes and you can see how hard it is I mean we don't need to look at the PNL we need to look how this market today how flat on a 30-year treasury bond let me show you something else it was having a problem today is the uh, the ES three minute the three minute and a normal day is a very good uh, uh, time frame but the, the look how this market is uh, every time trying to go long going into the wrong direction and the market turn back on you so this is an example on the ES and uh, and let me show you another one if we look at the ES on the 28 second because it's a smaller time frame and nail the market on the movement is the same auto trade you know small losing trade that's fine but then you know one two and three because the precision auto trade take a trade with the trend and a reversal so you can see how uh, there is an impact uh, on your trading results when you are using a smaller time frame in a smart way to learn how to manage an auto trade and understand what kind of condition you are in from now till the end of the year. On top of that, uh, Mondays is going to be very slow. A normal auto trade also will have a harder time on Monday than maybe Tuesday and Wednesday and Thursday so uh, learning how to manage the auto trade is a key factor in here it's not a, just a wash machine you turn it on and uh, uh, or a coffee machine you turn it on and then the coffee comes from the other end so it's not to just turn on an auto trade and then the money is gonna come from the other side uh, it's not as simple as you think uh, you need to understand the, 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 the time frame, how to optimize, how to secure profit, how to, uh, when you see flat market, how you can hold a little bit for a few minutes and uh, let uh, reactivate the auto trade. So there is much more into it, uh, just uh, turn on button and uh, on and off button. Uh, let's forget the PNL uh, today I wanted to concentrate on the time frame more than the PNL uh, if we look at the CL uh, three minutes did 1000 all of them on $1,000 target if we look at the 22nd please look at this on the 22nd didn't have a, t a hard time took one two and three eleven eighty 
it doesn't matter the PNL if it's a hundred or two hundred dollars plus or minus, but if you if you notice you were done by nine forty seven nine fifty, and and that is a very good. Also this one because it got lucky and it is three minutes and I got it. Uh, but then if you if we look here in this area here, you would have got in trouble uh, and then uh, Here you would have got in trouble and here you would have made one good trade and and uh, it was finished uh, Here is the three minutes again. Look at this three minutes Nasdaq and you can see it was in trouble today and then when the market was trending took the reversal and it is a struggling strategy uh, let me see if if we look on the three range also took a lot of a small trade but it did much better position entry position than uh, the three minutes is the same auto trade because uh, if we look as an example the ES today I mean this is a one minute chart and Look, we have some for the manual traders as well. You have a sell signal, buy signal, you have the symmetry. You can take the trades based on the symmetry, manual, reversal, and then your ABCs is over right there with a symmetry 46, uh, 79, and there we go, short trade right on the double support. So uh, in those days, so if we look at the ES, was not much trending today most most of the time was flat and that is can bring a lot of crisis on your account that's why we kept recommending i mean you can look at this technical chart in conjunction with your auto trade and you can see those signals you don't need to do anything a plot automatically on your chart so at least you understand where you are from the technical chart in conjunction let the auto trade take the trades and 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 but at least we need to know where we are and if we look on the smaller time frame the 39 second is the same story did much better than the three three minutes did 50 percent more than the three minutes and it's gonna get worse the, the closer we are to the christmas and new year eve and uh, the more it's gonna get worse and worse and worse uh, for the guys are not paying attention uh, to uh, uh, the smaller time frame in this flat market which you're gonna see the same thing not to just for the next Christmas or the Christmas after you will see the same thing in the summer every time when you see kids out of the school summer holiday uh, uh, winter break or any you will see some flat in the market somehow uh, again, if we look at the three range, uh, ES did 1,275. And if we look, I mean, this one here, it, I mean, it struggled, but it got almost the same as the three range. So there is not much different on in here. On the 170 tick, which is because the tick move a bit faster, on 170 uh, tick, it did very well on the ES. And made double the amount from both of them so this is how really uh, is um, let me show you this one here by is not is not I mean if somebody come in and try to be smart and say well my three minutes did well we have a chart on the three minutes and did the 3,000 today it's not about by accident today we made a 3000 on the es uh, it is we need to look at the details on all of the chart and you will see the smaller time frame uh, they are fast uh, entry and fast exit and here is the problem is when the auto trade is not attuned or or the auto trade based on a dummy atr plus below moving average or a MACD uh, based on a just basic, uh, you know, 20 years old MACD. Uh, it's not gonna do uh, the trick uh, on uh, this time of a year. 
especially when a market like this is a flat I don't call this as a trend in I call it really an, a nightmare for auto trading because the market is not trending and a lack of experience or a, a trader uh, cannot see that there is no trend in here then does mean he is in a deep trouble uh, in the trading so this is we need to pay attention to more details uh, about auto trading how to manage auto trade how to um, run the auto trade when to run them when to stop uh, it is very important this is uh, and uh, for the last 15 years guys anyone ignore those what I'm talking about uh, 90% they fell 90% they fell again guys auto trade is not a wash machine uh, auto trade is a mechanical auto trading in the stock market whether you are future forex crypto whatever and uh, it's a mechanical and uh, God give us the brain to use it not to just turn it off so um, making money uh, require a little effort uh, from the trader or from any business you are in it require a little brain uh, whatever we have left in our brain require a little brain and uh, also uh, to acknowledge what's going on especially when you are trading life let me show you also another one this is the market analyzer this is we have five automated to trade uh, comes in with the signal and also you can see there is let me show you something here it's very important now they start lining up because now the end of the day but all day today if you notice on the signal here uh, this is let's say the buy signal on the YM we have one direction a plus and two direction down and if we look on the ES now it just got lined up right now at this moment it just got lined up and still look is struggling and this market analyzer is based on one lot but anyway the total of all this based on one contract is 558 ticks based on the last entry not the whole day again not the whole day is the last entry which now we got the new signal on the ES to buy and if we look on the A trend and the B trend uh, is now conflicting and they are not on the same direction as the uh, the signal which we have a buy signal but still the heavy weight is to the downside if we want to analyze this I know for an auto trader to him this is rubbish it is rubbish for you maybe but when when you start losing money then you start taking this serious if we look at the ES uh, we have a buy entry and then there is a resistance which the ES is struggling and most likely the ES is going to drop and this is where you can also uh, confirm when we are taking a trade we are on the right direction or not and as you see right now uh, there is a confusion in the trend and uh, for a guy ignore that it's gonna be cost costly extremely costly uh, uh, for for the rest of your life it's not gonna be costly for one day it's gonna be costly for the rest of your life and you're gonna end up uh, buying auto trades for the rest of your life trying to find the crystal ball and then in the reality is uh, you will find out after blowing your account many times you will find out the reality is different than those guys do the marketing at the end of the day so uh, the auto trade has to be much smarter in 2021 and you cannot any longer come in with something is 20 years old like an ATR and you think you're gonna smoke out those guys uh, they've done a lot of training they've been around for many years and you think you're gonna kick them out and sit in their chair uh, then I strongly advise you think again think again and think again please
Let's jump on another auto trade. On the TI-7, you can trade it a little bit more comfortable once you start learning how to trade uh, the Precision Auto Trade. The Precision Auto Trade do does not require any filter. Uh, the, the entry is pinpoint and it does not require any filter because a trade with the trend and a reversal, so impossible to put a filter trading with the trend and reversal but uh, on here for the more advanced once you start learning the auto trades uh, you can start filtering it has more filter by the way today uh, we had we had webinar on the institutional auto trade believe it or not just today what we have done on the institutional auto trade to show the guys what is inside the institutional auto trade just to show what is inside and um, between filter and uh, uh, between filters and entry on the institutional auto trade uh, today in the webinar i even got tired two hours just showing how many entries and filters on the institutional auto trade and and uh, and it was i mean and then when we were doing the webinar today because we just sent out an update on the on the institutional auto trade and i was thinking uh how this guy is kind of tangled with institutional it took two hours to show what is inside so the way it is we strongly recommend for the new beginners don't go over complicate yourself try to go with simple auto trade this is what we are doing right now uh, we are uh, trying to uh, we have the precision auto trade and we have the scalper this is another auto trade those are a very friendly use it, it, it takes you a couple days to learn how to optimize and you can optimize them and then you learn how to manage those auto trades in the market then once you start learn, learning how to optimize you can start tangle with the ti7 and once you start learning the ti7 because the ti7 compared to the institutional is a mid-size uh, the TI-7 have around, I don't know, around 10 entries and uh, 10 filters and the institutional, oh Jesus, I mean, w I don't know how many entries, but there is a lot of entries in there and there is plenty filters in there for more professional traders. So the more advanced trader you are with the we have something for everyone for a simple guy want to just auto trade and uh, trying to get into the auto trade business uh, how to trade how to manage uh, auto trade it is perfect the precision auto trade and the scalper and once he start getting comfortable and getting the idea get the idea how to auto trade then he start with the TI-7 and once he gets comfortable with the TI-7 then the institutional auto trade it will be a piece of cake for him but to go from 0 to 100 on an institutional auto trade uh, uh, you know probably if you're not patient enough you're gonna get a headache so simplify it like the precision auto trade and and uh, it's a very consistent and try to concentrate on one auto trade at a time and once you are comfortable with one auto trade you can upgrade yourself all of it in your package so you don't need to worry about i mean it's not a tomato it's gonna get rotten next week or something it is in your system for life and and try to uh, get into this step by step you know from crawling to walking to running so again i wanna uh it's not the pnl here 
it is if we look also on the gold usually the gold is closed by now uh, the gold is still struggling and uh, winning trade losing trade break even losing trade break even so you can see you know it's not the PNL it is how the auto trade behave and how it's taking the trade and why it's struggling this auto trade I'm not looking at the PNL 650 I'm looking this one was a good trade this one was a losing trade a break even small losing trade a break even so all this mess right there it was and I mean irrelevant and now finally when the market start trending we got a little beef out of it so it is how the market condition is uh, that where uh, you, you will uh, see like if we take as an example the CL on the 55 second also it was a struggling market and then look at this it was a struggling market and then when the market start trending it did finally uh, get the target so here it is uh, living proof that the, the 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 auto trade was struggling before 12 o'clock and when the cl was trending it did a good job uh, and uh, took it it's the same auto trade the same entry when the market is not moving you will have a struggle uh, uh, on your auto trade until this market start moving if we look at the es four minute took one trade we got lucky on the four minutes it was 1326 on the five minutes also it was a little bit nasty uh, then it started trending barely we closed on 1000 so I don't want you to look at the auto trade as an ATM machine is not you know you have to be careful how to manage an auto trade which our job is not just giving you a couple link to recorded video telling you have a, a good life we try to be with you on every single day monday is a webinar tuesday is on the other channel live uh, we analyze the market and we uh we can we are almost eight out of ten nailing the market and then uh, uh, wednesday i check up with the new clients one on one for three times with me one on one and then on on thursday again on a YouTube Friday YouTube so we are with you every day in a different place and until you learn and the guy is not gonna learn it's not gonna learn I mean you know you can put him one year in a trading room if he doesn't want to learn he doesn't want to learn uh, CL 8 range uh, we got a trade and uh, it did and uh, and then look at look at this again on the higher time frame uh, it was a struggling market and then again it's the same thing the same thing happened uh, you know when the market start trending we nailed the target immediately Nasdaq two minute also it was a little struggling and we got lucky when the market start trending we nailed it perfectly and uh, we took uh, one long trade one short trade and if you notice here the yellow when the market was on neutral and the market uh, the auto trade does not take a trade when it, the market on neutral is in yellow you can see which have saved us a lot and you see this yellow bars uh, very often on a flat market and this avoiding the, the auto trade to take a trade which is extremely important when the market on neutral your auto trade does not react to the market movement which sadly when you are using an ATR is just positive and negative you start getting into turbulence uh, with the market and then most likely you end up blowing your account and uh, the CL on a 13 range this is a much higher time frame if we look even on the CL 13 range which is very serious high time frame I mean 13 range this is a really high time frame and you can see it was even struggling so your best offer is to be a small light trader from now till the end of the year uh, like a precision auto trade the one we have and and use a smaller time frame get as much as you can and get out uh, uh, and if you see the the auto trade is struggling stop it for today immediately stop it walk away from the uh, computer and uh, 
you come back on the second day and trade. This is very important, folks. You, you cannot sit on a gambling table all night long, on all day long, and 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 thinking you're gonna win every time. Uh, 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 once you see trouble, or once you see the market is not trending, or it is a flat, you need to walk away uh, and uh, do not damage your account and stay out of the trouble. There's a plenty of days to make money when the market is trending. This is something um, traders sometimes avoid and they they keep insisting trading from 9.30 to 4 o'clock and this is a nightmare uh, trying to get the message to those traders. You cannot do that. This is not an ATM machine and this is not a wash machine. You just turn it on you know, and come back in two hours and then you find out yourself you're rich. No, uh, you might find out yourself you... Um, lost all your money you know so this is a serious business the nasdaq also it was struggling today uh, a lot of trades if you notice on all the uh, 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 charts it was a struggling day today and it was many trades usually if you look at the previous videos normally on the uh, precision auto trade uh, we normally finish everything by 11 or 12 o'clock and today it is a really a struggling day and it was many trades was taken and uh, to achieve the target it took much more effort than normal so here is a five minutes also for the guys they trade with a five minutes or three minutes or and it is the same story uh, we got lucky with this uh, spike in the market uh, right before 12 o'clock and and uh, it did a good job on that and then nailed a couple thousand dollars so uh, this is uh, how it is and then I want to uh, cover the, the scalper the scalper is a total different type of an automated trade than the others but uh, you can see the scalper today was much more comfortable with the trades than the others the reason is this time of year, Monday, you don't swing trade on Monday. You scalp on Monday. Always on Monday you scalp. Uh, you swing trade maybe uh, Tuesday, Wednesday. You look at the market at 9.30. Maybe it's tradable uh, for scalping or swing trading. Uh, you know, you just look at the one minute to see how this market is running. And then you can put the right tools for the right time, for the right day. So like today, uh, you can use uh, the uh, the scalping on Monday is a great idea. You can use the precision auto trade because on the precision auto trade, you can scalp or swing trading. Uh, you can also use the TI-7. The TI-7 uh, has a three different scalper. One of them is a reversal scalping, which is also a great idea for uh, um, uh, trade on Monday and you can swing trade as you know as Monday I prefer scalping on Monday so that's why we keep screaming that you cannot come in with one entry auto trade in 2021 going on into 2022 using one entry on the ES NASDAQ Dow Jones 30 year treasury bond DAX and you think you turn it on and you're gonna live happily after uh, no it's not the reality is uh, uh, trading has become very advanced smart algorithm smart math high speed high-end uh, computers very fast computers and you are comp competing with the others so you cannot be sitting lagging back as simple as that, you know. I wish you a very nice, pleasant day. And uh, we will see you tomorrow live uh, on the other channel. Uh, thank you very much. And God bless you all. And uh, God protect us all. Thank you. Bye for now.